This is Alden Bislogic with Bislogic Staffing. Recently, I was asked about elevator speeches, how to do it. Um, there are four steps when you do elevator speeches. One is introducing yourself, that's step one. Step two is tell them what you do. Step three would be tell them what you're seeking. And then step four, finalize, it's calling for actions. I'm going to go in each of those steps more in depth in the next couple of minutes. Step one, uh, introduction. When you meet somebody for the first time, especially in the business world, a firm handshake, um, pleasant eye contact, eye contact is important. And then a nice, uh, my name is so-and-so, it's nice to meet you, would be adequate to kick off that elevator speech. Step two, a summary of your background. So once you complete the introduction, hi, my name is Alden Bislogic. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I'm a general manager with Bislogic Staffing and been there for the past two years. Uh, I graduated with an MBA uh, and specializing in international business. So what I did is I quickly gave uh, the intro, summarize my background, what I do right now, how long I've been there, and then also included my education that's relevant to the field. Step three is, is where you tell them what you're seeking. After you introduce yourself, summarize your background, you jump into uh, staffing industry has been my passion, for example. I've been doing it for the past 15 years and would love to be a potential um, value added addition to your organization. So I just quickly, uh, what I've done is I've asked, what, you know, like introduce myself, I gave them my feedback and my background, and then what I did is I asked if, you know, like if I can be an asset to the organization. And last step of the elevator speech is call to action. This is the step where you asked if it's okay, you know, for you to reach out to them next week at a specific time. So pretty much to summarize the elevator speech, the four stages or four steps, one is introduction, summary, what you're looking for, and then call to action, which is the last step where you ask if it's okay for you to give them a call at a specific time next week. Hope uh, this elevator four-step video helps you gauge and you know create a, one of your own. Um, you can you know like write it as it fits. Uh, you can add more to your summary, your strengths what values you bring to the organization and then like what you're seeking as well and how you, you know, the company can benefit from them having them on your roster if you're looking for a job. If you're looking to get business, this is how you add value to the organization. And then lastly, always ask for the next step, which is call to action. Thanks guys and hope this helps.